They say a dog's bark is worse than its bite, but the facts are that every year, 800,000 people are bitten by man's best friend, so badly that they need to get medical attention. Dog bites account for one-third of all homeowner insurance claims, and dog bites are no laughing matter. In Los Angeles, a woman was out jogging this spring when four pit bulls attacked her. She was killed after being bitten 150 to 200 times. The owner was charged with murder. Most states make dog owners automatically liable for all dog bites. A few states require that the victim prove that the dog was vicious or that the owner violated an animal control law. If you or your child is the victim of a dog bite, there are several steps you should take. First, go to a doctor right away. Large dogs can exert 450 pounds of pressure per square inch, and that's enough to crush bones. Take pictures of the wound so that you have evidence of your injury. Notify animal control and file a police report about the dog attack. And then finally, check the laws governing dogs. Most cities require a dog to be on a leash, and some states have laws against vicious dogs. In Maryland, for example, pit bulls are considered inherently dangerous, and the owners are strictly liable for injuries that they cause. Next, file a claim with the dog owner's insurance policy. For most breeds, damage from dog bites is covered by homeowner or renter's insurance. You can always talk to a lawyer to learn if you can recover damages. If the owner knew that the dogs attacked other people or kept them in an enclosure where they could escape, they may be liable for negligence. And as with anything, prevention is nine-tenths of the solution. Don't provoke or tease dogs and steer clear of dogs you don't know. And then you'll always say, who's a good doggy? This is Larry Bodine, Editor-in-Chief with Lawyers.com.